A riddle of several years finally solved by men of the intelligence response team. They unraveled the identity of this notorious high-profile kidnapper, Chukudidu Meme Onwamadike, also known as Evans. Leading intelligence officials to his place of abode along Fred Shoboyede Road in Magudu area of Lagos. One can only imagine the elements that make up this magnificent structure. A reflecting automated steel gate provides the only entrance to the compound, closely watched by closed circuit cameras. Power supply is no problem here as that is taken care of by these generating sets. Speaking later on the gang's operations from Lagos to Anambra, Edo and Port Harcourt, the suspect claims his arrest was difficult for authorities owing to the fact that they only converge at a meeting point for their operations and sharing of ransom. I started in Anambra. Then from Anambra, I moved to Edo. Then I come to Lagos. I have you people that give me information. Mm -hmm. Each time I go, I want to go for pressure, I will connect on phone. I will, I will call them on phone, mm -hmm. like let's meet so so and so place. Okay. Before we will start going for the operation, mm -hmm. we do kid, we we'll kidnap. The highest money we collected is from first act, one million dollars, from somebody even in first act. At the state police headquarters in Keja, Lagos. Recovered arms, thousands of ammunition, locally made chain for victims and gang members, including a couple, are all on display. <laughs> the arrival of the kingpin raises the temple in this parade as is welcomed with shouts and chants. The arrest of Evans and his gang member is the beginning to the end of kidnapping and another violent crime in this country. This latest arrest may bring some relief to residents of Lagos and its environs. The expectation, however, is that police would be able to rescue those still in captivity of those kidnappers and ultimately put an end to the menace. The 130 million naira mansion where Chukwudi Dube Meme Onwa Madike Elias Evans lived until his arrest on Saturday. Closed circuit cameras, super steel gate, and high wired fence simply a palatial mansion designed for a king. Once respected in his neighborhood at his Magodo residential home, here is Evans arriving in chains with his head bowed in apparent shame. The father of five lived like royalty. This was evident in his test. According to him, he spent more than 40 million naira on furnishing alone. Italian imported furniture, jacuzzi, name it. Evans had them all. For every man, there's a time of weakness and total surrender. Then from Anambra, I moved to Edo. Edo State is like about three times. In Edo State, if I come to Lagos, I know, I know about Dano Dete. This amount of ransom we have collected is from First Act. He lives in First Act. How much? Eh? How much? One million dollars. It was jubilation as Evans arrived the police command to the waiting arms of curious journalists. The false PRO wasted no time. After the gun duel with these vicious and notorious criminal gangs are five AK-47 rifles, which we display here for you to see, uh, two double barrel long guns equally displayed. We have one AK-49 rifle, 
two English pistols and 59 AK-47 magazines are loaded with ammunition. Uh, we currently have 1,272 AK-47 ammunition also recovered. His gang members spoke on their relationship with a man described by some as the maxed one. You can give me back, you can give me money to give somebody, you can give me back, you can ask me to go and collect something from somebody. Then you, come, you can come out anywhere and collect anything from you. That is how you do it. I don't know where he lives. By even one day, follow and go keep now. But now, I think get this problem for here now with this in gun, they don't pack up. Now they ain't call me for phone, so boy, I don't get problem. They don't pack all my gun, so make a fine way. Whether I go feed gun, see gun for buyers, I buy for him. He go pay three million, three point five to my account. This only time, this only first time I work with him. This is the end of the road for a man who has different gangs of kidnappers operating in about four states, and at, at the height of his aberrant career, collected ransom sometimes as high as one million dollars. Chukudi Dumemena Onwamadike, 36, from Umodim village. Newi North local government area of Anambra State is said to keep his victims as long as seven months in captivity until they are able to pay the ransom jaw-droppingly high. He has two houses in Magodo and two in Akaragana. His wife and five children are said to have fled to Ghana from where they will finally head to Canada.